Hey everybody, welcome back to my Murphy table. I just wanted to show what came in the mail just a couple minutes ago. Uh, this was issue number seven of Yaw Magazine from uh, Flying Pig Games. Just looking at the cover there. So lots of good stuff in here. There's uh, some stuff for old school tactical designer interview. There's an in-depth AAR. There's also a new scenario to play. It comes with a game. A, uh, I guess that's a Civil War game. I haven't quite looked yet. Uh, and then just pictures from the interview, some pictures of old school tactical, and then counters inside for two games. So here's the components that come for the two games. First, there's the Edge of Night cards. I should have opened those prior to this. Now, this is the game that comes with it here, Edge of Night. Uh, Mark Walker put out a Sticks and Stones game not too long ago and kind of an alternate platoon level you know world war two world war three type of game and i got the print and play and print it, printed it out and uh, my print and play components never look as good as you know the stuff you get if you purchase it but this is kind of a add-on to that i don't know if this is its own com i think it might be its own complete little game to kind of get you used to like the stick and stone system but what it is is it's taken the theme of the Night of Man game he has, and then sticking it into the Sticks and Stones game system. And the cards um, are very reminiscent to that, you know, some different bonuses you get from the cards. The cards are actually printed really nice. I don't know what the cards are like in the Sticks and Stone game, because I printed my own, and I'll tell you, they look terrible. But these are uh, good quality cards. So it's got the cards. Looks like my color is shifting in and out. I don't know if it's a lighting issue. That's probably worse. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how it goes here. But anyway, so you got cards. Or it's the focus shifting in and out. But I think the camera's wigging out because I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff right here. Alright, so anyway, there's cards. And then it comes with a counter sheet. So here's the counters that you get. Uh, we've got... Here's the front side. Oh, they're ready just to pop out. Nice. But there's the counters for the Edge of Night game. Yeah, I think my camera has a light going. Maybe we'll just put more light on it anyway. Anyway, then here's the counters for the Civil War game. And these are really nice counters. I don't want to pop them all out, but just feeling them here. Just grabbing a couple. Uh, one, the artwork's pretty spectacular for for what they are. They're nice. And they're a decent thickness, so they're not terrible. Um, that's actually cool because I hear some companies, when they put their games in like Ziploc bags, this came in a Ziploc baggie, sometimes the components aren't very good. But these are really nice. All right. So we got lots of good quality counters with great art. Here's something... Beast of the Gates. I'm not sure what Beast of the Gates is. I haven't... It's, uh, that's something for this game here. Dimension X. I think that's one of the games from the uh, Tiny Battle Publishing, so this might be a scenario. So I'd have to look. Anyway, I got counters for something else I don't have. So cool. Counters. And then here's a map. Now the map is not super spectacular but you know it's a paper map I mean the artwork is nice it's a very nice looking map and but for what comes with the magazine I would not expect this to be you know hard cardboard or anything like that so it's a paper map so not spectacular as in you know it's not an expensive cardboard map or cardstock it's just paper so then here comes the magazine itself you know, just taking a peek here. What have we got? Advertisement. Editorial. And then it's going to talk about some of the contents here. Uh, you know, I don't want to show too much, obviously, because that's why you need to buy it yourself. But there they are. Origins. Here's an interview with Shane Logan for Old School Tactical. Oh! This is interesting. Look at that picture. That's 
Got quite a bit going on there. Oh, that could be maybe because it's a picture I took. Hmm, maybe. Oh, look. There's another picture. Oh. Yeah, I think that's another picture I took for the game, believe it or not. Uh, oh, look. Yeah, look, they have an old school tactical after action with a really nice big picture that I think I took. <gasps> I see more pictures I took. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, article on foot by Eddie Carlson. <gasps> Could that be me? Yeah. This is my first ever published anything. So I wrote them in AAR. Uh, you know, so if you do pick this up and read it, be gentle. Um, <laughs> I've never written anything like this before. So, you know, if there's any, if it's too boring or something like that, you know, I'll do better next time. But, yeah, I'm published. Yay. And then we've got a Night of Man after action. Now this one, I read a little bit. Actually, it's probably a little more entertaining than my old school tactical. So I've got some work to do with writing AARs, but I'm excited. Uh, then we got some Warfighter stuff. I'm not showing you a whole page again. Sorry, I know you guys want to see everything, but you know some great articles to read. Paper quality is not the glossy type stuff, so it's more paper, but uh, still feels really nice. And the print is really nice. The ink is nice and dry. Trust me, I've gotten magazines where the ink was more than happy to rub off. Great photos. I think the photos show through really great. So this has got uh, oh, a little thing here on the solo expansion for Conflict of Heroes. Okay, and then we got Operation Dauntless article. Oh, this is great stuff here. Space Cadets co-op game. Yep, Harvesters of Soul. That's Invaders from uh, Dimension X. Yeah, so that's their uh, Tiny Battle Publishing. And then here's the Edge of Night rules. Right there, it's expansion for the Platoon Commander series, Sticks and Stones. So good thing I've got some stuff that I can already add with it. Uh, high speed hover tank thing, scenario for high speed hover tank. Here's a scenario for Night of Man Solitaire system. And what else do we got here? The pocket. Here's the scenario for old, old school tactical. And then here's the victory without satisfaction, the Battle of Jury's Bluff. And that is, I believe, this is the game. That's been included for us, this issue. Yep, this issue's game. Some more ads. There's the rules for the game. So at first was more of a, I guess looked like a, maybe a background. And then here's the actual rules. And then uh, one, two. It's got uh, six scenarios. Six scenarios on there, then tables and charts for the game. Um, now, obviously, I just kind of went through this. This is actually uh, really, really good stuff. Playing the Midway game. Yeah, this is printed really, really good. I'm enjoying it so far. So um, I got something I can sit down and read. Most everything I get is PDF, so it was really nice to actually get something printed. So good stuff. Really enjoy this. I believe, yeah, this is, you know, you can order this. Go to the Flying Pig website and you can, flyingpiggames.com. You can pick this up if you're interested. I'm not sure what all they've got for back issues, but after looking at this and seeing the quality of this, I normally don't buy war game magazines or gaming magazines in general, but this is actually really, really good. And if the components for the games are this good of quality, it's definitely something worth picking up. So, Thank you for watching, and if you do pick it up, let me know what you think. And if you read my article, let me know what you think of that. Hopefully it's not too bad, but um, you know, feedback is always appreciated. So thank you much, everybody. Take care. Bye.